Hello. I greet you with the peace of the Lord Jesus. This is one more edition of the International Seminar produced by the Martin Luther Christian Church and transmitted here on our social media. Every Tuesday, always at 7 p.m., you watch a new edition of this seminar. And this is the publication of this Tuesday, April 20th. And this seminar, through very quick and objective classes, you understand clearly God's project for your life. And today, we are going to address the fourth part of the theme, the pleading for the blood of Lord Jesus. What is the meaning of the blood of Jesus? In the Last Supper with His disciples, the Lord Jesus compared His blood with the wine. The Bible says, Likewise, He also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in My blood, which is shed for you. This is written in Luke 22, verse 20. The wine is the result of the grapes that are pressed in the wine press. Wine press which has a tank where the Grapes are deposited, and people step on the grapes in the wine press. When they step on the grapes, the what comes out, the juice that comes out, it collected in a separate container, and inside this container, it goes through this natural ferment, fermentation from inside out, and it transforms into wine. The wine, in turn, produces in man a sense of joy, which is the result from drunkenness. After Apostle Paul writes uh, Ephesians in chapter 5, verse 18, D do not be drunk with wine, and it's, which is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the wine in which there is no contention, no dissipation, because it gives us joy, which is eternal. We can also say that the wine is the blood of the grape. Jesus is the true vine, and such he gave us his wine, or being his blood, for the prophecy in Isaiah says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. In Gethsemane, he was, his flesh was defeated in the decision to go to the cross. At Calvary, he was wounded, and he spilled his wine, which was his blood. He died, but resurrected. That's why the process of death and resurrection is an integral part in the life of the church. Stepping on the grapes means the death. Drinking the wine means the resurrection, which is the Holy Spirit governing mine and your life. And so, how does this happen in the practice in my life? When I plead for the blood of Jesus, I leave behind everything that belongs to this life. And I plead for another life, which is eternal life. When I plead, I exchange this earthly life for eternal life. Just as the grapes are stepped on, I walk on the world. I put the world under my feet, and I resurrect for eternal life. For example, let's suppose that a certain aptitude attracts me, but I know that my attraction for this does not please God. And so I plead for the blood of the Lord Jesus, and I receive a deliverance. What happened with me, my own self was stepped on, was trampled. It was the death of my flesh. My flesh was crushed. And so I drink the wine, which is the life, the resurrection. That aptitude still exists, but I died for it. Paul said, I have been crucified. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Or being, I start to have life. This reflection is part of the content produced for the Maranatha Christian Church. If you have still not watched the other videos about the pleading for the blood of Lord Jesus, I recommend that you go and watch the previous publications. And next Tuesday, we are going to come back with one more approach to this topic. To all the peace of the Lord Jesus.